Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia and I got Chinese government scholarship two times. And in this video I'm going to tell you how to easily do it as well. Keep watching this video! What does the Chinese government scholarship cover? First of all, it's free training. You must study in the Chinese course, undergraduate, graduate or doctoral program. And second one is free accommodation. You will get a free accommodation and each university has different conditions, but it shouldn't be your main criteria for choosing. In any case, you will get a bathroom, a toilet, a bed and a table. You can survive. You can make it comfortable for yourself and buy different stuff on Taobao or just ask about 800 RNMB, 800 Chinese Yuan for renting. And the third one is cash scholarship. Each month the university will pay you some amount of money. Bachelor students will get 2,500 Chinese Yuan. Masters and Chinese language course student will get 3,000 RNB and PhD will get 3,500 Chinese Yuan. Guys, I already feel how much you want to get this scholarship. And now I will answer to the main question how to apply for a grant from the Chinese government. I will share with you five very simple steps. First of all, go to the website to www campuschina.org and choose a university. After that, select the city and check what kind of universities they are. I would recommend you to choose at least 10 different universities because each university has different criteria and maybe for one you won't be suitable, maybe in one university you won't have the major you want to study. So at least like Choose for you like 10 universities, 15 universities. After that, find scholarships or grant tab on the website. It will list the scholarships that university provides, the dates for considering applications and the conditions. Conditions may vary slightly from different universities, but basically they are the same. Second step, fill the application form on the website to w.studyinchina.csc.edu.cn And first of all, you have to choose program category. You have to choose program category type A or program category type B. Don't worry guys, I will explain for you what the difference between those programs. So program category type A. It means you receive a scholarship from Chinese embassy of your country. To do this, you need to contact Chinese embassy in your country then book an appointment with an educational attaché, meet him and explain him why do you need this scholarship, why you should be the one who have to receive this scholarship. If the attaché is interested in you, he will give you a scholarship. So your next step, it will be to choose a university. Where do you want to study? It, like this paper that he will give you, it's already 90% chance that you will get a grant from the Chinese government. Program category type B. You are going to get a scholarship from the university you're applying for. You understand the difference. Program category type A, you're getting a scholarship from the Chinese embassy in your country. Program category type B, you're getting a scholarship from a university you're applying for. When you're filling an application, you have to choose just one university. And you have to choose just one university because it's university competition. How to do it? So they will ask you to put an agency number. How to find this agency number? Just Google it. I don't know if you're going to study in... Okay, for example, you're going to study in Kunmin University. You just Google it. Kunmin University agency number and you will get a number. You just have to copy and paste this number in a special form. It doesn't mean that you can apply just to one university. To be honest, you can make a lot of application forms. You just need to do different accounts. And for each university, you need to do a new account. You just need to choose new email, new password and so on. So even if you want to take part, so even if you want to apply like to 10 different universities or 15 different universities, you can do it. You just need to do different accounts. What else you have to write in their application form? Like your contacts, your work experience, your educational background, 
um, maybe you have like HSK certificate or L certificate, you also have to write about it. I guess that's all. You won't have like any problems with building other part of application. If you have any like questions, you can ask me in the comments below. I would like to answer. Don't forget, if you apply to 10 universities, you need to fill the application form 10 times and you have to prepare 10 sets of documents. Third, uh oh, third step. Attach these documents to the questionnaire in a scanned form. What documents you have to attach? And first of all, it's your diploma of education. If you just graduated from the high school, it should be a diploma from a high school. If you applying for a master's degree, it have to be a diploma of your bachelor degree. I know that lots of you are applying to the Chinese government scholarship before they completed studying. Like for example, like you're going to study in July, 2020, but now is January 2020 and you don't have your diploma yet, right? So you can ask university of a special of a special of a special document where they will write something like this student are going to finish bachelor degree in our university in July 2020. You also have to scan your grades from the last semester. It's pretty simple. Second thing you have to attach is study plan. What is it? Study plan is like it's not the same with motivation letter what people usually write to study in European universities or, you, or USA universities. It's a bit different. If you if you're applying for a Chinese language course or for a bachelor program, in this study plan you have to explain like why do you want to learn Chinese, how it's going to help you. What do you want to do in China when you will get this scholarship? Like what places you want to visit? Where you want to go to travel? What's the most, like what do you like the most in Chinese culture? Something like this. Like you need to explain like, why do you like this language and why do you want to learn it? If you're applying for PhD program or master program, you need to write the same thing, like what do you want to do in China, your plans, but also you have to write what is going to be your future, what is going to be your future research, why you have to go to China to work on this research, like did you do any kind of researches before, like do you like it, and sort of like future plan. For example, you're going to start studying at in September 2020. So you have to write like first semester from September 2020, I'm going to do research on books. What do you have in the library? Like second semester, I'm going to think about topic for my future research. Third semester, I'm going to, a third semester, I'm going to work on project for my research. And like fourth semester, I'm going to write my research. Something like this, like sort of simple plan. It doesn't mean like it should be like this, but you have to have this plan. It will make teachers believe that you really, really want to study, you really, really have a plan or something like this. And, uh, and you also have to write about your achievements, like something like I finished, I was graduated from the high school with A grades, or I can speak Spanish, or I used to work in Chinese company, something like this, something that make you different from other applicants. Third, uh, third document you have to attach is a medical report. Like the, f I will, I will upload a special form like below. So t you have to, you have to fill this special form. It's really important. And don't forget to ask the doctor to put a stamp on the picture at the beginning of the report and at the end. It's really important because a lot of people, they can forget about it. Fourth thing you have to attach is language certificate. If you're going to study in Chinese language, you have to attach HSK. If you're going to study in English, you have to attach IELTS or TOEFL. But if you're English, like native English speaker, you don't need to attach IELTS or TOEFL, like for sure. <laughs> if you're going to study in Chinese for bachelors, you have to attach HSK 3 or HSK 4 for top universities. 
for for masters and PhD students, you have to attach HSK5. Sometimes, sometimes they will ask you to attach HSK6. But I know cases when HSK was HSK4 was enough. But I don't think like you have this risk now because it was like three, four years ago. But now there are more and more applicants and you need to be the best of the best. Like to make Chinese government to choose you. You also can apply without any certificate, but but the chance of getting the scholarship will be less. So you can just write, I need one language, I need one language year for studying. So before your PhD, master, bachelor program, they will give you one language year, they will give you one year of studying Chinese. But the problem is like it can be in different university. But at the end, you will study your degree you will study your degree program, the university, what you choose. And after this program, you will have to like pass HSK 5, 6, 4, like depends on requirements of your university. Both step, print documents and send them to China. You just need to go to the university website and check for an address of international office. Or you can just or find an email of international office or the office who is responsible for scholarship programs and send an email and ask about address. Very simple. I will remind you guys what to send. A printed application form. Like remember we were talking about this form. Don't forget to sign in the end because it's very important. Second, original study plan. Third, originals of two letters of recommendations from your professors. You have to attach the recommendation letters from your professors from your previous university if you're going to study master's or PhD. I'll put some samples of letters of recommendations in the description. That's all guys. So you sent your university, you sent your documents to the university and now you can just wait when they will answer. I said hello you want to tell hello congratulations you've got a chinese government scholarship and we are waiting for you in september 2020 or oh, 2021 like depends when you're watching this video important guys i want to tell you something important so you have to start to prepare your documents in december january usually the deadline is march april depends depends on university and the best time to fill an application form i think is january february and the best time like to send your documents is the end of february and march so check when there's a deadline for your university and think if you're not in china there should be some time like three weeks four weeks depends where you are for those documents to get to china and the question what everyone asked me nadia what's the chance for me to get a chinese government scholarship really there are no requirements no one knows really just like a lottery you can just get this scholarship or you can't get but you need to do everything what in your hand but you have to do everything what's possible right like to take this for example to take the best grade for hsk to prepare all documents what they asked to make good letters of recommendation to write a good study plan to make a good picture because sometimes you know they can just like oh handsome beautiful okay we will take them yeah it can be like this as well feel free to write to those universities ask them different questions about chinese government scholarship ask them about results ask them like did you choose you or no like it's okay like guys i wish you good luck and i'm sure you will get this scholarship i hope this video was very useful for you good luck for you guys i hope you will get Chinese government scholarship. Bye bye. See you in my next video.